Are you an idiot if you fell for love bombing? No. My name is Ruth Ann. I'm a clinical psychologist. I'm an expert in relationships and issues of narcissism. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what love bombing is and what the start of healthy romantic relationships looks like, how they're similar, and most importantly, how you can tell the difference. Most people who have survived abusive relationships will talk about periods of love bombing. So periods in which they've been given big gifts, big promises have been made, big gestures, declarations of love, proposals of marriage, and really this very positive, infatuated, kind of obsessive stage of a relationship. Now, as I've pointed out before, one of the diagnostic criteria for narcissistic personality disorder is having fantasies of ideal love. And that kind of fits with that kind of fantasy of ideal love where the partner really idealizes you, idealizes the relationship and sweeps you off your feet. And you can see how that fits with a kind of narcissistic structure. However, there's a whole body of social psychology research that looks at what predicts long-term relationship satisfaction and couples staying together. And guess what one of the predictors of that is? Positive illusions. If you talk to couples who've been together for a long time and who are happy in their relationship, they'll often talk to you about knowing from the beginning that it was a really special relationship, having butterflies in their stomach, knowing instantly that this was the one for them. So it's kind of normal. And I think one of the reasons it's really important to recognize this is because I think when you've been in an abusive relationship, you can really start to question your own judgment and think there's something wrong with you. Whereas in fact, there's nothing wrong with you. And I think what love bombing really is, is it's it's an exaggerated form of normal. It's an exaggerated form of that normal kind of excitement and infatuation that happens in early romantic relationships. I think it just gets a little bit supercharged. So how can you tell the difference? So if you're in a new relationship and you're feeling those butterflies and you're feeling that kind of excitement, how are you going to know? Is this love bombing? Is this the start of an abusive relationship and someone who's going to turn around and hurt me? Or is this the kind of normal excitement that happens at the beginning of a new relationship? And the good news is I actually think it's quite straightforward to tell the difference. And there's two ways I suggest you do this. One is to look for areas of disagreement. Now I'm talking mild disagreement. I'm not talking start a big political debate or a debate about religion or really hot button topics, but just find areas where you don't share common views or common taste. So if they have a hobby that you're not interested in, or they have music that they like that's just not your thing, or there's a kind of food that they really like and it, you just don't like it, be honest about that and just say, you don't have to, I'm not suggesting you insult their tastes, obviously don't do that, but you can be quite honest and say, that's just not my taste. That's just not my thing. I mean, it's great that you enjoy it. It's just not for me. And see how they respond to that. Another way you can test this out is be very wise and be very mindful of that infatuation stage in a relationship. Yes, it's fun, but you don't want it to isolate you from the rest of your life. You don't want it to isolate you from your friends, from your family, from your hobbies and interests, from the things that are important to you. So hold some boundaries and make sure you protect that time for other things. And that might look like saying no to the person who you've just started a relationship with. So you might want to say, I haven't seen my friends or family for a while, so I really want to make some time for them this weekend. Or thank you so much for inviting me to go out with you that evening, but I have other plans. Can we arrange another time? That's just setting very straightforward, easy boundaries. The reaction to that will tell you so, so much about this person. Are they able to tolerate that? Are they able to respect you, respect your no and respect your boundaries? And also, do they have boundaries of their own? Because, you know, if they're always infatuated with you and they're always spending time with you, are they? do they have other friends and family and relationships and interests that are also important to them? Because if they don't, I would be concerned and that would certainly be a question mark. Now, there's another issue I'd like to address. If you have been in an abusive relationship, you've likely experienced big highs and crushing lows. And that's where even a normal level of infatuation and excitement can just not feel 
anything like the roller coaster. One of the metaphors I've used before and I find really helpful is it's like you go from the roller coaster with multiple loop the loops. It's exciting, but it's also dizzying and it makes you feel sick. Um, you go from that to being on the kiddie ride and that can feel a little boring and safe by comparison. So I think there's also room within this kind of discussion to be thinking if you've been through abusive relationships, you may need to realize that those big highs may not be quite so high in a healthy relationship. And that's not to say that you're not going to be able to enjoy that kind of normal idealization and infatuation and excitement at the early stages of a relationship, but you may need to tolerate what feels like a lack of chemistry and what feels like a lack of excitement and give love a chance to grow and to blossom because it's very, very possible. But at the same time, it's absolutely fine to enjoy those little bit of butterflies and that little bit of excitement that is such a normal and actually kind of fun part of a new relationship. I hope this video has been helpful. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So leave a comment and um, tell me what you think. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe so you can hear more. I look forward to seeing you next time. In the meantime, take good care.